Hello everyone, this is Gore and this is a car from the pages of history. We have done uh, three cars from Proton in my previous uh, videos. One is the Iswara, the, uh, the Saga or Iswara, then the Mira, and then we also we did the Padana. And then this time we are doing something from Parodra instead. And the picture do suggest that this is Parodra my V. And if you look at the title, the, it says uh, 04A, 04A because uh, I intend to split the video into multiple video because of the numerous uh, variants and versions of the MyVs that has been out there. But in this video, we only concentrate on the first model. Alright, so this is the brochure I have. Uh, I got this brochure. Uh, I downloaded this brochure somewhere. I can't remember where it was. Uh, I lost my original brochure, so luckily I was able to find this one. So we will look at this brochure and then we will sh uh, share with you some pictures on these uh, different different variants of the MyV. So the first page, uh, it usually is just a picture of the car and then together with the date. So the date down here says May 2005, <coughs> revision A. So this brochure is dated to 2005. So the front page, it shows the program IV. Uh, I can't tell whether it's a premium or the standard edition, but this is definitely the 1.3 variant judging from the uh, existing of the uh, fog lamps and also the rims. So this color is called Mocha Silver, if, I'm, if the lighting is correct, all right? So this one of the color that is found for this version. If we open up the second page, this uh, picture here shows that yeah, it tells you the story of the Parodra Maivi and if you look at it down here, there are two versions initially, which is the 1000cc, actually it's 989cc uh, engine and then there's a well, 1300cc or the 1298cc engine to be exact. So both engine source from Daihatsu. So the one liter engine, uh, this car, this engine was taken from uh, or seen in the uh, in Parodra Kalisa and then uh, Parodra uh, Canary and so on. So they are taken from there. They are using Daihatsu's EJVE engine. Then the 13 those with uh, 1.3 liter, they actually use the the three. Uh, they use a K3VE, sorry, K3VE engine taken from Daihatsu. If we go down a little bit more, these are some extra features for the car itself. It tells you, okay, there's a picture of a headlight. So the headlight is the turn signal. And then this is the main uh, beam. Uh, sorry, this is not the turn signal. This is the uh, position lamp. Sorry, uh, this is the position lamp. I confused with the later MyV. Later MyV, the turn signal is here. Lah. But for this first generation, the turn signal is actually in here. The turn signal utilizes a T20 uh, bulb in here. And then this the main headlight. The main headlight actually comes with one single H4 bulb which serve as uh, low beam and also the high beam. And up here, there is a T10 bulb that acts as a uh, position lamp for the Parodra MyV itself. Then the, all MyVs come with uh, color coordinated uh, bumper and the, the 1.3 edition comes with reverse sensor. Across all variants of MyV, there is the uh, rear wiper and also the rear demister. The boot, the latch to open the boot is located underneath the Parodra patch from here. And then at the moment of launch, all Parodra MyV come with a red color uh, tail lamp like this, or LED. Then this is the turn signal. Turn signal is a T20 bulb. And then this one down here, uh, this is a reverse lamp. Reverse lamp, if I'm not mistaken, is a T15. If I cannot, if I if I can remember correctly, okay. So, but down here it says LED uh, brake lamps are 1.3 uh, liter variants only. So, the this tail lamp, and I look at it even I because I had the one point I had the one point zero I had the one point zero, and then I noticed that it's the same it's the same kind of tail lamp. So, probably the pre facelift version probably have the 
uh, non-LED type headlight. There are two variants of meter panel in, uh, given on my V itself. The white face you see down here, these are for uh, 1.3 premium editions only, 1.0 and also 1.3 standard edition. They are equipped with amber meter panel. Let me show it to you. Okay, so this one, brief is lift. So if you look at here, look at this picture. Okay, this is the uh, this is the picture with the uh, amber meter. Okay, and then 1.3 standard preface leaf. Okay, uh, this one I borrow from I borrow this from uh, from online from a uh, from a car lease. Uh, so you can see this is how the meter gets illuminated, and then. Uh, this is the uh, this indicates a 1.3 because it is a uh, automatic transmission okay we turn back here uh, all players uh, all car are equipped with this kind of player even the premium edition they don't get the player with uh, with Bluetooth uh, and also USB port the Bluetooth and USB port only comes on the uh, post face sniff Borodwa my V then all variants come with integrated uh, turn signal into the side mirror this is the picture of the 1.3 liter engine so 1.3 liter will say 1.3 dash 16 valve twin cam for 1.0 edition the word is up here it says uh, twin cam 12 valve yeah correct 1.3 liter is 1.3 liter engine come with four cylinder so uh, four cylinder and then four valves per cylinder, so sixteen valve. The EJVE one uh, one thousand cc engine that one comes with only three cylinder, so three cylinder, so three times uh, four twelve valve. Okay, all of them are double head overhead camshaft, and then the both of all of them come with DVVT, and then they have uh, electronic fuel in uh, injection, and then LED lights. So LED lights are uh, some. LED lights, yeah, what they call it, the meter is LED light, the dashboards are all LED lamp, okay, and the uh, turn the rear signal are LED lamps. Then this just to show the there's a picture of a MyV down here with passion for quality, and they're telling you that okay, the car is built in quality as in all brochures of all cars. Okay, the boot opens up fully and then the seats fold down flat against the back uh, it's a two step operation uh, to fold down the seat you need to lift the back the seat back and then fold down the seat so after that the seat actually folds flat okay then uh, expandable uh, back seats yeah you can fold down the back seat to extend the storage space like this so this is uh, might be in uh, the seats being fold down halfway that is the bottom part if you see here the bottom part has been lifted up and low and put it down and then only you can fold down the back seat so it's a two-step operation all the doors open quite wide in this case and then there's a picture of showing the airbag might be had might be comes with two airbag okay so but this is only for 1.3 uh, premium variants only then the ABS are also equipped with uh, a 1.3 premium va uh, variants only the rest like the 1.0 and the 1.3 standard they don't e they're not equipped with uh, airbag nor ABS okay there's uh, there's some notice notice on here that they, they undergo front collision test body structure head impact things like that so all my V's regardless whether it is a uh, 1.0 or 1.3 standard or premium they are all equipped with uh, central locking with alarm and all key, all my V keys are equipped with immobilizer yeah the immobilizer chip is built into, ev into every key that has been introduced on my V uh, be very careful with it uh, try not uh, if you lose any of these keys, it's very difficult, it's very expensive to uh, get a replacement. Most, uh, I'm most unfortunate, I lost one of the keys uh, to my, my V1.0. Then uh, I went to Paroda Service Center, they charged about 1200 to replace the key cylinder. 
they generate they get two new keys for me and they also uh, remove the old keys and they also remove the old uh, alarm cons uh, uh, the alarm remote that I have lost and they re they sold me a new one and they also program it for me so uh, this is the alarm part lah. so all cars all my these come with uh, cent alarm central locking and immobilizer the next page of the brochure it shows the uh, the models that they have out there there are five uh, variants out there so 1.0 SR this is the one liter car 1.3 SX this is a 1.3 standard uh, manual edition SX you normally refer to manual so SXI is actually 1.3 premium but manual manual uh, transmission five speed manual then those with ez down here so these are uh, automatic variants so uh, 1.3 uh, standard automatic and also stand uh, premium automatic the i at the back at the time do indicate that it is a premium edition and give the size of the car the weight and then if you see down here this is a EJVE for 1.3, oh sorry, 1.0, and then 1.0 comes with three cylinder. And then K3V engines are equipped with those uh, for 1.3 variants, they have four cylinder on the inside. All of them are DOHC and they all have DVVT. And then total displacement, yeah, 989cc for the 1.0 and 1298 for the 1.3. The rest are quite pretty much the same, except that uh, those with SR 1.0, SR 1.0 are only equipped with 5-speed manual. There's no automatic for 1 liter car. Then the 1.3 uh, SX and SXI are 5-speed manual. EZ and EZI are automatic. The front get the disc brake, the rear get the drum brake. Then parking brakes are mechanically operated on the rear wheels, front suspension, McPherson strut, rear is torsion beam with coil spring. All my wheels are equipped with 175, 65R14 tires. And then these are the accessory that is equipped with uh, down here. So rear combination lamp, okay, bulk type. This is LED type, so 1.0 get bulk type, but I, I really haven't get up close with one like this, uh, but Definitely the that car that I had, uh, the one point that I had definitely come with, uh, come with uh, LED down there. Oh yeah, one liter Proto MyV don't come with uh, alloy rim, uh, so they come with steel rims with uh, wheel cap, and then the rest of the MyVs they are equipped with alloy rims. Then the amber meter versus the white color meter for amber for 1.0 and the standard edition premium editions get white face meter. Then these are all the chrome part, uh, steering wheel with uh, silver paint and chrome. These are only available for the premium edition at that time. Silverly painted gear shift brazer. This is only for automatic variants, so only the 1.3 uh, EZI will get it. So the, the gear shift brazer that means the piece surrounding the gear is actually in silver. You have to look at this uh the from pictures after this. Okay, all of them have electrically controlled side mirror except for 1.0. 1.0 don't have uh, 1.0 uh you have you have to actually open the windows and then use a finger to adjust the side mirrors. Uh, four speakers only available for 1.3 variant. 1.0 variant only have two speakers. That is, they, they only have two speakers on the front door. The rear door didn't didn't have any speakers. Actually, a lot of them, a lot of people out there didn't know. The, I, I I went to the accessory shop to replace my player for the one point for my 1.0. The accessory shop couldn't believe that the rear door didn't have uh, speakers until I tell them, hey, yeah, really, really. Okay, uh, 1.0 only have two speakers. Even after the post facelift, they only have two speakers down there. Okay, SRS airbag, all of them are there for premium editions. And then anti theft, everything are there. Everything are there for all the variants. And then to the back of this brochure, there is also the color code Albony Black. Okay, then they have olive green, this color. I don't remember seeing this color after the first uh, after the first model has uh, has been has uh, ended production. 
so olive green olive green is not you see down here there's a word they say not available in sr meaning that 1.0 uh, one point, those who buy 1.0 cannot choose this color. 1.0, I think they only have black, they have silver, and then and this one, classic gold metallic, but I very, very rarely seen uh, 1.0 with this color. 1.0, I seen most is black, silver, black and silver most of the time, and white also. One of ones, I bump into one or two, but uh, if you look at the list here, ivory white is not in the list. That is because ivory white uh, hasn't exist in 2005. Ivory white only came in uh, 26 of May 2006. So the first, uh, first, I think the car, the first year car, because my V was launched in 25th of May 2005. And then ivory white only came on 26th of May. That means one year after the uh, Mivis have been released, uh, there were no white. The first year don't have white color. Then one year after that, then only the white color comes in. Okay, so mystic red, and then metallic, uh, classic gold, mocha silver. These are all the colors of the original Brotoa Mivis. And this actually is the entire uh, brochure for. Brodra my V uh, down here. We will proceed to look at some pictures of uh, different different sets of cars for uh, my V itself. So if you look at here, uh, pre facelift. This is we are talking about pre facelift my V. So let's have a look at pre facelift. So 1.0 edition. This is how the interior looks like. Uh, I borrowed this from Carlis. Uh, this is a photograph from one of the car that uh, one of the example I can get. So. Uh, 1.0. The yeah, they don't have any painted, uh, painted silver on the steering wheel. Everything looks like that. Then it's a manual transmission. A telltale sign. You can tell that it's a 1.0 is by looking down here. So this is where the wind, the side mirror control or, uh, switch is. So this one uh, in the 1.0. This one is a little cubby hole. Instead of a power, instead of the, the mirror control, it's a cubby hole down there. So this tells you sign that it is a 1.3. Ah, sorry, 1.0. 1.0 also have a slightly different seat. Eh? So their seat is this color. This color, right? Then this is the both the front look of the dashboard of the MyV. And then the engine. If you look at it, this engine has a slightly different. Uh, but they call it a uh, cover down here, engine cover, and then the photograph can't quite read well, but actually it says twin cam 12 valve. I'll show you to you in another photo. Ah, yes, 1.0, even 1.0 come with hydraulic uh, power steering. Yeah, they have hydraulic power steering. Then the most telltale uh, sign from the outside is uh, this. Okay. Uh, 1.0 are not equipped with fog lamp and neither are they equipped with any reverse sensor just this one just cover only uh, so there's actually no reverse sensor on this car itself so no spoiler but at least you still have the uh, the what they call it the demister and also the uh, rear wiper at least you still have them for 1.0 and then for 1.3 uh, standard 1.3 standard you can tell very easily uh, standard edition this part here is not in uh, silver and then there's no silver uh, on the steering view either there's no chrome or emblem on the steering view if you look at the seats uh, so this is how the 1.3 seats look like if we compare this with 1.0 1.0 preface leaf okay if you put the put them side by side Okay, so this is 1.0 seat. This is 1.3 seat. Okay, so note the dif this here, the difference of the material. And these seats are no longer available uh, once the, the facelift model has come in. Okay, so next one, uh, 1.3, you can tell that, that we can see down here, the mirror controls are down here. Then this is the the meter for the 1.3 uh, standard 
and then if we look at the premium okay this is the premium edition so premium edition the meter is white as you can see down here white uh, this is a five speed manual uh, so that's why you don't see the gear selector down here it's a it's a 1.3 sxi edition so white face meter then this uh, you can see down here that silver painted for the premium edition and then premium edition to come with silver painted on the steering view and also the uh, Parodra emblem is in chrome then if you look here you can see the seats are the same material like the uh, like the earlier uh, 1.3 standard and also this is the material they get for 1.3 premium and then the premium edition they get airbag so the airbag is on the is down here is in the sand horn pad of the steering view and then the horn the passenger side this is the where the airbag is located okay this is the rear seat so again you can see the silver trim down there painted with silver okay Alright, so this uh, is the Perora MyV one point uh, Perora MyV uh, first generation pre phase lift. We will move on to the next uh, phase of this video, which is the uh, Perora MyV one point uh, sorry Perora MyV face lifted and also several other releases. Uh, oh yes, MyV um, SE one it has been launched on uh, ten of October. 10 of August 2008 there's a MyVSE uh, 1 instead SE 1 because there's a first model for the SE that is out there all right so let me see where I put it okay this is the preface leaf uh MyV SE so the first the preface leaf SE was first it was first launched on 10 of August 2008 so it's the first time uh, this kind of bumper is seen on the MyV itself. So they have this uh, bumper with a larger kit in the bottom, fog lamp, and then the rest the remain the remains quite the same, lah, except that the grill the grill is actually integrated part into the bumper itself. And then together with this car, this car also come with the uh, alloy rim with this kind of alloy rim, and then body kit at the side. Okay, the interior of the car is leather, the seats are all leather and then they get this kind of, uh, they get this kind of, uh, what they call it, meter, uh, instrument cluster, so with the blue lining on the inside, so this is the 1.3 uh, SE type 1, SE1, okay, this is the kind of rim they get, so they still get the same setup like the front disc brake, rear drum brake, everything looks like still exactly the same except with additional body kit and a different bumper at the back so the color choice if i seen is uh, i seen white i seen black like this and i've also seen red nah, okay i've also seen red so i don't really remember the the color code because this is something from 2008 and i and unfortunately i have also lost the brochures uh, as i did uh, when i moved houses and then the thing extra is they get a larger spoiler at the top of the car and then i think this is slightly bigger from the previous on the standard variants of the myv itself so this is the interior you again get the silver painted uh, part on the gear shift and then silver painted on the steering and also the chrome uh, emblem the player is still uh, the standard player without the uh, Bluetooth nor the USB port. Okay, so that is the MyV SE standard. I uh, say MyV SE uh, one standard. MyV SE one. Two variants are available. There's a GHS, which is the manual edition, and then the ZHS, which is the automatic uh, version. Uh, I think this is the back seat. So back seat looks like this, and then it has the uh, leather wrap as well. And then the engine, uh, 1.3 liter, same like the rest of the uh, MyV itself. So, uh, 1.3 twin cam like that. Okay, so this has been the uh, Prora MyV, the first uh, first model. There's a pre facelift model. 
Okay, we will continue down to uh, another aspect. So we will look at the brochures for uh, 1.3. Ah, uh, sorry, my uh, sorry, not 1.3. My V uh, facelift. Okay, both the standard and the premium, and also the SE. Okay, we continue with uh, this part of the video where it involves uh, the facelifted program IV. So we're looking at the regular series, which is in which is in this uh, brochure itself, and we also look at this one later. So this one is the uh, SE edition. So this is which which uh, some people out there call it SE two because this is the facelifted SE. So they have no other. Uh, reference to this to differentiate the two SE. So some owners out there call the the uh, the pre face lift SE as SE one and then this one as SE two. Um, I'm sorry for the condition of these uh, brochures because I thought I lost these brochures, but actually when I I found it back, uh, it was in the trunk of my Proton Vira. Uh, from I think the day I got these brochures, so these brochures are dated at uh, 2008. So uh, I I got this brochure, I, I think I got this brochure from some shopping center where Prodra is making the road show. So I got the brochure, put it in there. I didn't realize it was there until I sold when I cleared the car for when I cleared my Vida for, for it to get sold off in 2015. Then I found the, the brochure. Okay, so let's have a look at the brochure. Uh, this is the brochure for the standard, uh, for the regular series of program ID. So at the top there's a, the logo of the program, okay. And then this is the the new program logo, but on the car they still use the old uh, logo itself. So this is the new logo like this, okay. Then the MyV is a passion, the new MyV. Then there's a picture of the MyV on the front cover. Which is the my my V with medallion grey color, and then at the bottom there's a tagline building car people first. So even until today, uh, Prodra still use this tagline called building cars people first. This brochure actually opens up this way, so uh, opens in flap like this, and then uh, let's have a look at the inside. The inside there is a picture of uh, Prodra my V in uh, they're showing the new form of it so this is a new facelift so they get this kind of uh, front grille okay the bonnet has been changed the the the, the u shape thing which a lot of people call a tando uh, the tando has actually been actually disappeared the logo has been shifted to the grill like this and then the the, the front fork lamp also come in a new format and then this car comes with a new alloy rim. So if you see the picture, this is the picture of the new alloy rim, like this. Okay, 1.3 use uh, alloy rim, whereas the 1.0 edition still come with steel rims with the wheel cap. Uh, or my V's use 14 inch uh, rims. Okay, back to here at the back view, uh, there's some minor changes to the bumper. Okay, and then uh, yeah, some minor changes to the bumper lah. Okay, down here, the, this is a new uh, look of the bumper itself, and then white rear bumper with new reflector, and with LED rear combination lamp. So, um, I what I expect here is earlier in my video I talked about my V one point oh having a rear having a, a rear combination lamp. It would have seen that uh, it's only this facelift and above uh, sorry this facelift uh, my V1.0 get the rear combination lamp with LED because according to the brochure at the bottom here uh, 1 star means available for 1.3 variants only 2 star means uh, for premium variant only so there are no star on this and on this so I expect these two are for uh, all variants of my V, uh, except for 1.0. 1.0, you still get, you don't get the uh, fork lamp. There are no fork lamp on 1.0 edition. Then we move up a little bit. This the new look, the new look according to new interior color. So this interior color, I do see that the changes is only on probably on the door trim for the color change and the seat material. Okay, so this, uh, judging from this picture, there is a silver painted 
part down here and down here so the picture of this car is actually coming from the uh, premium edition and then for 1.3 variant they get this kind of seat like this for 1.3 so new fabric one star one star means 1.3 meter then there is a new player attached to this so this new player can play uh, mp3 wma that means yeah, your on top of CD audio and also radio, they can play MP3 CD, and then uh, Bluetooth uh, connectivity and uh, sorry Bluetooth connectivity and also the USB port. These have two star, so that means these are for 1.3 uh, liter premium variants only. Then the standard variant don't get uh, standard variant get the same player, but then they don't get the USB port here, and there's no Bluetooth connectivity either on the player itself. All the players will show the same uh, display color which is uh, amber down here. The second page the second page shows the practicality. So again the one star, two star uh, still appear. So for my wrist turning circle is 4.7 meter. Simple small turning radius. Seat height adjuster is only available for 1.3 premium edition. It's where they can adjust the seat height. Okay, this one is just a seat back, this one is just a seat height, seat height just push it up, up, up for bring it up and then press it down for bring it down. And the bar to adjust the seat position is located down here. Then there's a UV protected uh, UV protection uh, uh, windscreen, but then there's only one star meaning that 1.3 variance only get this uh, get this uh, kind of uh, window. Then the door opens at 80 degree, easy to get in and out. So this one or my wheels have them because no star lah. Okay. Electrical uh, side turn mirror electrical side mirror return signal, meaning that the uh, the side mirror can be adjusted electronically, but then there's only one star indicate that that means this is only available to 1.3 variants only. And there's a picture of a cup holder down here, two for the front and then two for the rear. Then there's also a shopping hook available, but shopping hook is only for 1.3 premium editions only. Shopping, shopping hook is found on the front on the front passenger seat, and then this is rated at 3 kg. Then all my wheels get the uh, under seat tray like this. The under seat tray is located underneath the, uh, the front passenger seat. Spacious interior. Actually quite spacious, huh? I said I when I had this when I had this car, uh, I set the seat to my driving position, and then I can easily get into the back, and the back is still comfortable for me to ride on, or even though I have to go for long distance. Okay, uh, my mine mine was a one point zero, so that means I don't get the seat height adjuster. So um, even with that, I'm still feel comfortable on the back seat after adjusting uh, the the driver seat to my position. Then this is to the three step to fold down the rear seat of the Parodra Myvi. Uh, Myvi's do get 60-40 uh, uh, fold down uh, seats behind. So there's a smaller side and there's a bigger side on the other side itself. Lah. So you fold down this side, it's a smaller side. So lift up this one, fold this one down. Like this. So this is the first step. The, the, the person has uh, lift up the rear cushion and then lower it like this. Lift it up, lower like this. And after that, fold on the back, and you can store more things. Okay, and uh, the good thing is, uh, even until Perota might be Luggy Bass and Icon Edition, the back still fold flat. That means the, if you fold on the, the back seat, the boot, and the whatever in the trunk, and whatever in here, actually flat. The next thing we want to look at is uh, this page. So this one has, uh, they have the three categories on the engine and then this uh, this Proda Myvi saw the see the same engine uh, like before so uh, they still have DVVT, DOHC and also the fuel injection 1.0 edition get K3V uh, sorry 1.0 edition get EJVE engine which is a three cylinder uh, three cylinder engine and then 1.0 the, the marking is not like this, uh, 1.0, the top cover looks a bit different and then up there they say twin cam 12 valve. This one is says down here 1.3 dash 16 valve twin cam. So this is the 1.3 liter engine. This picture comes from that. Okay, then there are airbags, but airbags are only for 1.3 premium edition. 
Then there's some pictures of the crash safety of this car, crash resistant body, brake pedal, intrusion. It shows the safety feature. Okay. Then for 1.3 liter, they get uh, 1.3 premium, they get anti lock brake system ABS, they get electronic brake distribution, and also brake assist. So, two star for this one because this means only uh, 1.3 premium edition. Okay. Or my list come with uh, alarm and central locking with immobilizer. The immobilizer chip is inserted into the key itself. So uh, even the 1.0 edition get the immobilizer as well. Then a little bit down. This is for a uh, new meter. It says a new Optron meter. This meter only available for 1.3 liter uh, premium editions only. And because it is a 1.3 premium edition, they still they get two extra light. One is airbag warning light and also ABS warning light. Then all my these two get two trip counter, so trip A and trip B. There's an auto meter, but it's impossible for the meter to show something like this. Okay, I think this is the demo set or the demo uh, demo unit. It's either showing auto or trip. If it's showing trip, then it should be showing A or B, and then. Uh, those with automatic transmission, there's a gear indicator up here. So it's either automator or trip meter. So two trip meter available, and then uh, lastly the reverse sensor. Reverse sensor is only available for 1.3 liter variants only. That means standard edition 1.3 and also uh, premium edition get the reverse sensor. In the last flap. Of it is actually the uh, they explain the different different variants and the color code available. The topmost is 1.3 uh, premium. That means SXI, which is the manual, and then EZI, this is the automatic. So they get this kind of look interiorly. It's the seat, and then this is how the MyV looks like with the spoiler at the back. And these are all the color code now here, color choices. So metallic gray, Caribbean blue. There is a glittering silver, classic gold still available, and then albony black, pearl white. But uh, pearl white is only uh, is a special metallic, and then there is a two solid color available: mystic red and ivory white. So they get all the color choice for premium edition. Then this is standard edition, standard edition 1.3 standard edition. You see behind the missing of the spoiler. There's no spoiler at the back. And then standard edition, they get the amber meter down here, and then the steering is not is the steering is not painted in silver, neither is the any emblem on the chrome emblem on the steering. You see this one, uh, there's a chrome emblem on the 1.3 SXI. Then the SX and the EZ. SX is 1.3 standard manual, EZ is 1.3 standard automatic. So auto manual auto uh 1.3 standard. Uh, uh, don't don't get the chrome emblem. They don't even have the 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 silver painting. And then this is the seat they get on the uh, 1.3 interiorly. And then the color choice is exactly the same as the 1.3 premium edition. So there are eight color choice. This one also eight color choice. Lastly, this is the 1.0 edition. So this one is 1.0 SR. Uh, 1.0 only has five speed manual. So uh, that's why only they that's why they didn't have the word SR here. So 1.0 only come with five speed manual transmission. So you see without the spoiler, and then the car actually comes without the alloy rim. There's no alloy rim, and then there are only seven color choices down there. Pearl white is not included. Uh. So there's metallic grey, there's Caribbean blue, glittering silver, classic gold. All the colors are there except for pearl white. There's no pearl white for this car. And then 1.0 get this kind of uh, interior seats. You will see it in the, the pictures in the later part of this video. Then the back page of it, the back page actually comes uh, with the specification for the car itself, the 1.0 edition, 1.3 uh, standard and premium. Then the so specs continue, and then the dimension of the car, and then this is the brochure itself. So this brochure is again dated August 2008. In fact, this Polova uh, might be facelifted, facelifted edition. Uh, actually, it came about 
on 22nd August 2008. This is when this Toyota Mighty has been uh, launched. Toyota launched the uh, Mighty with this case. Okay, we will look at this one right now. This is the 1.3 uh, SE edition. So on the front, we still get the same picture of the Mighty. This is a special color for the uh, SE edition. This is called Aussie Orange. Okay, Aussie Orange is only available to uh, SE edition. So the changes is the front look for this uh, SE down here. So this is the new bumper, the new look. The number plate is no longer uh, somewhere down here. It has been moved back to center. Okay. The front page, this is how it looks like. The new Mighty SE. And at the bottom, there is the word building cars, people first. So, let, so interiorly, when you open up, this is how it looks like. So we go through uh, part by part. So there is the new uh, stylish front bumper. Yeah, they changed to this kind of bumper for the front. And then the headlights, if you look at the headlight down here, this part, some parts of it are blackened. The old might be, they are all, uh, if I remember, it's uh, some kind of a silvery, uh, silvery, silvery kind of a, what do you call it, condition in the middle. So then silvery panel in the middle, and then this one is actually chrome. Lah. But then on the SE, on the SE, this part is blackened out. So headlamp, uh, new design headlamp with blackened finishing. Then this is the rim that is found on this SE edition. This rim, some say it's gun metal grey, some say titanium color, but then uh, whatever it is, this is the color with the new color, and this color is only available for the SE edition. There is an ex there is a Mighty exclusive edition with this kind of same rim, but then that one is painted in silver. Then yeah, you still get the chrome kind the meter with the chrome like the premium edition but then the interiorly this is all uh, red in color so everything is all red you still get the chrome uh, rims of for the meter itself then uh, they get leather wrap steering wheel okay with the scent with the center painted in silver so leather wrap steering wheel down here and then this is the new color for the Mighty SE the other part uh, all my VSE come with leather seat, so this one comes with leather as well. Then this the tail, so smooth clear rear combination lamp with rear with white rear spoiler. The spoiler is very much larger, very much larger compared to the regular my V's. And then this part down here is in uh, is in clear, it clear. But then I don't know why they call it smoke. But then this is clear, uh, clear panel for the lights. So only uh, so only the SE actually come with. So far, as, as I see in the brochure, SE comes with this one, this kind of lamp. Okay, then there is a new sporty rear bumper. So this is how the, the rear, the tail combination looks like. And then there is this player. So this is a 2 dim player. This one plays CD audio, w, uh, MP3, WMA, USB and Bluetooth. So if you look at this player, this player is actually a bit sunken in because this panel, this player panel is flat. Uh, it's not contoured like the... Uh, like the like the other my V players, so this one is actually flat. So if you look at it, uh, so it's actually flat in. Uh, then there's some space uh, down here in front from the bottom part of the panel. So it's not flush or it's not contoured for the uh, this for the my V dashboard. That is how the rear looks like like this. This car comes with two choice of transmission. They get a five speed manual transmission which is the GHS and then the uh, ZHS, this is the 4-speed automatic. Or my this SE utilizes uh, what they call it, uh, 1.3 liter 4-cylinder K3VE engine. Okay, there are a few color choice down here. So, uh, I believe I, oh sorry, it's not Aussie orange, uh, it's tangerine orange. Okay, it's not Aussie orange, uh, it's tangerine orange. Okay, so I thought this was a color that they carry forward to newer Mavis, but actually no. Uh, so tangerine orange, uh, not Aussie orange. And then there's Albony black, it's glittering silver, there's pearl white. And then this the dimension of the car, can be seen from here. Then the rest are actually the warranty. Uh, all Mavis at that time get 3 year 
warranty. Three year warranty, uh, hundred thousand manufacturer warranty. And after that, you can opt for an extended three year warranty or another seventy five thousand kilometer extended warranty from there. Okay, and then this brochure is this is dated September twenty eighteen revision A uh, brochure. So these are the face lifted program MyV brochure. So MyV SE two, okay, the SE two like this one, it is launched on the tenth of October twenty zero eight. All right, we proceed with the next part of the video. All right, we will move into the uh, show the picture uh, portion of this uh, video review. So we will start with this. Uh, this Borodra MyV uh, 1.0 SR. This this was my personal automobile before I traded it off uh, for the Axia. So I bought this car used in uh, 2017. The first owner, I think, said use it from twenty from twenty zero nine until he sold it off in about I think twenty sixteen twenty seventeen. He sold it off. I got it off early in February twenty seventeen. So exteriorly, this is how the car looks like. Uh, again, this is the the bump, the bonnet changes, everything are all very standard. If you look down here, there is no uh, fog lamp for one point zero. SR even after the first uh, facelift. These rims were added after market by the owner is by the previous owner itself. So when I when I look at this car, it already had the uh, alloy rim like this. So even of the even this is the facelifted MyV 1.0, the rims remain steel rim. Or they call it rim compound or rim bersi. Alright. Then this is the back, uh, no spoiler. But you still at least have the uh, rear demister, the the wiper, and then it does not have any uh, reverse sensor. So these are just uh, plug-in caps only down there. Um, yes, I think some of you may have noticed that there's a SXI patch down there because my my place a lot of people want to want to a lot a lot of people want to go after this car. A lot of people stealing these stealing these cars because of the spare parts and so on. So that's why I. I masquerade this car as a 1.3 by sticking the uh, SXI badge on it. So making people think that it is a uh, premium edition and they will go and they go and steal other car instead. And then I also stick the chrome door handle down here on the door to masquerade it as a uh, 1.3 also. Alright, so that's how it looks like. Um, then the inside of the car let me see uh, where's the picture of it. This was the inside when I took the car. So it had the original player. And then again, this player does, is not equipped with Bluetooth connectivity or USB port. Then this part here is black. Uh, black. And then uh, the different color is uh, this part here is black. Uh. This part here is black. This one also black down here. And then again, the uh, this part here, the, this, this part here showing uh, that it does not have any uh, window con uh, what they call it uh, side mirror control. So it's just a blank copy hole down there. Okay, you see this, see this. This was the inside on the last day of my possession before I traded, before I took this car to Perodra to trade in for my. Uh, Axia. Only thing different is I've changed to a Kenwood player because the original player broke the the lights couldn't be seen, so I changed it. Changed it. And then this is how it looks like the day as I'm about to uh, set, uh, take it off to Broadway itself. Uh, I changed the gear knob, so this is not the original gear knob already. Uh, yeah, you can see the blackened part easily, and then these are the seats material that is uh, given to the 1.0. So different from 1.3, yeah, 1.0 get this kind of uh, seats uh, like this. Okay, then this is the better picture of the seat, <coughs> and this is the rear seat. So the rear seat is still a two-fold operation. That is, you lift up this one, put it down, and then you fold the seat down. 
for the, the seat back down like this. Yeah, the no doubt the, the back has an opening for the speaker, but when I open it up, I try to uh, install some rear speaker. I'm thinking that there was some wire in there. Lah. There were no wires anywhere near there. Uh, but uh, the door trim actually do give you a space for you to mount your speakers. And then the door frame, internally door frame, it allows you to mount the speaker. But there's no way for it. There's no speaker in there. Lah. Again, this part is black. And then, uh, even though this is a post facelift car, uh, Prora MyB 1.0 are still uh, equipped with this old style uh, meter cluster down here. Right, it's back to the uh, back to the first photo. Then we look at the 1.3 standard uh, post facelift. So. Okay, it's a 1.3 post facelift. 1.3 variants, if you see the seats, these are how the seats uh, look like. If you compare this with the 1.0. Okay, 1.0 seats and 1.3 seats. Uh, material different. Uh. This is a line, line, line material. Uh. This one is a dot material like this kind. So material is different though although the appearance is the same material is different okay and then if you look at there this one cannot quite see uh this part is exactly the same uh. there's a door pocket oh yeah door pocket only one uh. my v1.0 only has one door pocket for the uh for the back passenger okay my v1.3 actually has two door pocket 1.0 only has one, so passenger side got, driver side don't have door pocket, don't have seat pocket, sorry. So 1.3, you can tell by the switch down here. Okay, and then there's the, this is the manual edition. And then this is the kind of meter that they get for 1.3 standard edition, whether it's manual or automatic. Monochrome, monochrome meter without any uh, frame or without any rims on the meter itself. Then if you look at the uh, 1.3 uh, premium post face lift. So this is the picture of the seat. The seats remain the same for 1.3 edition. Two door pockets are also there. Then there is a shopping hook at the back of this seat here. There's a shopping hook. And then there's a silver uh, painted uh, door handle. Two sides, front and back. Uh, the steering wheel on this car, I think, has been replaced by the uh, by the owner. So this is not the steering that for this car itself. Okay, so the steering is the still like the post the pre facelift car with the silver painted, and then uh, this is the manual edition, and then the player now equipped with a USB port, and there's a Bluetooth connectivity to the uh, to the player itself. And then down here, you still have your mirror controls. And the yeah, this is a better look of it. Yeah, this is a better look. Okay, this is a better picture. So this shows the uh, dashboard of the 1.3. So 1.3 premium. So silver, silver painted, silver painted down here, silver painted, silver, and also silver painted down here. Then this is the player, and then the player down here it has the cover for the USB port. And then this player actually equipped with Bluetooth connectivity. Okay, so this is the better picture. And then this is the picture of the uh, meter meter cluster for one point for the one point three premium edition. Better is manual or automatic. They get this kind of meter, multicolor meter, with uh, rims surrounding the meter itself. Even this part here has a uh, chrome, chrome rim uh, surrounding and then there's a, the, the lettering is white and then there's a bluish hue surrounding it. So when you turn on the meter at night, this bluish hue actually uh, lights up. The next one uh, that I don't have the brochure but I've got a picture will be Myvi Exclusive Edition. So this is the Myvi Exclusive Edition. Uh, exclusive Edition was launched on the 24th of uh, October. 2009. Uh, this is targeted to people who want who wants the SE, who wants the SE uh, 
uh, interior but they don't want the the se the garang kind of bumper lah okay they don't want the the that, that garang garang bumper with a big with a big uh, fork lamp and things like that and also they want some they don't want all the body kit they want some but not all the body kit so my V exclusive edition was uh, was launched for this and as far as I can remember I only seen uh, Alboni black uh, variants of this kind of car so if you look at here if you one look at it you tell me that okay this is the same rim like the uh, my V SE2 okay yes correct but then the color is different uh. my V SE2 they have got titanium colors so this one is not titanium this is silver the front is a regular Myvi bumper. Then there's a skirting, for fork lamps, and the rest of them are still the same. They have yeah, they have leather interior, leather seat interior. Okay, and they have got the not the they have got the more standard uh, rear bumper. I uh, said the rear spoiler and then the standard rear bumper as well. Okay, then what's extra is if you look at here this is the steering if you look at the steering uh, it's leather wrap leather wrap steering silver painted down here and there is a player the player if you look at it uh, it is the similar player to the myvi se2 uh, player itself and then if you look at the meter down here this meter are standard uh, 1.3 premium meters a uh, regular 1.3 uh, meter panels down here Okay, and then you still get the, you still get the, what they call it, the, uh, the mirror controls down there. So this is the uh, exclusive edition. Only 5,000 of this car were made for sale. So they were, I think they were sold off very, rather, rather quickly when it was announced. Oh yeah, they also come with a uh, chrome door handle on the outside. The last one in this uh, in this uh, range in the first generation range will be the limited edition. <coughs> so uh, again, I have to borrow pictures from the internet. So I borrow from car list. So this is this is the car actually. So I've I only have seen uh, this uh, this color. Okay, this uh, pinkish red color. There is supposed to be a fog lamp down here, but I think it has, been, it has broken. And then, the, yeah, there's a fog lamp on that side. So this is the color for the uh, limited edition. Okay, this is how the back looks like. And then the back, this one comes with a uh, transparent tail lamp. If you look at the SE2, SE2 do come with transparent tail lamp. And then if you look at the exclusive edition, okay, uh, exclusive edition exclusive edition don't come with uh, transparent tail lamp they come with red tail lamp like this so only two variants come with uh, tail lamps like this uh, the se2 and also the uh, my the limited edition okay so limited edition comes with spoiler like this kind uh, then there is also the door lining can't quite tell from here but then this is the lining okay this lining down here and then this kind of lining are uh, later uh, saw on uh, program IV icon <coughs> okay so it comes with alloy rim but there's no uh, chrome uh, what they call it chrome door handle on this car itself okay so engine 1.3 liter uh, this is the this is the limited edition look. That means this piece of uh, this piece of uh, what they call it the the car the, the panel is now uh, has this flowery uh, panel. Actually, this car is targeted at female buyers. Prado wanted more female buyers to buy the buy my V, so they made this car with the with the pinkish red color. They also equipped with uh, this kind of flowery theme for the interior. There is USB uh, connectivity down. There's USB port down here, and there's also Bluetooth connectivity. Yeah, you see Bluetooth connectivity with a with a microphone. Okay, the seats are this color. 
then there is a chrome interior door handle with the red uh, insert on the door panel for this car itself so this is a better angle with the with the picture itself so red this flowery pattern like this there's a word limited edition on embossed onto the uh, seat fabric for this limited edition Okay, is the rim uh, one look at it you tell me that hey the meter looks like it's a standard edition uh might be yes it is the standard edition might be but with few other free upgrades lah, like the what they call it like the uh, usb and bluetooth player okay chrome chrome door lining i say the chrome door handle body the door lining silver painted but unfortunately the center is not silver painted uh, and the, the center is actually uh, black uh, okay limited edition yeah they still get the uh, uh, this uh, parcel shell but this boot tray i don't know whether it's uh, come it comes with the car i uh, since i don't have the brochure so uh, however this car actually has the uh, the boot tray at the back yeah this is the kind of meter you get for a uh, limited edition okay yeah there's supposed to be two fork lamps actually uh somebody actually bought this car already so this i, I spotted this on the on the car list and then the car when i click on it oh car already being sold yeah this is the better picture of the uh of the lining on the door with the silver insert down here okay so this has been uh the video review oh sorry sorry one more forgot to show you wait ah uh, one more forget to show you uh i don't know if uh any of uh, many of you know about this Prodora Maivi also has been exported to united kingdom so these are united kingdom versions of Prodora Maivi uh and if i remember correctly he was first uh, exported in and he was launched in united kingdom on the 12th of uh, october 2010 despite the despite the date uh, these are the cars that you can see on the uh, uk market okay so Brit uh, uh, britain market there were two variants one is a sports edition and then uh, this one I, this one i don't think is a sport edition this one i think is a standard edition so there's no uh, on this car itself there's no fog lamp down here and then of course british plates uh front is white and then rear is yellow and then for british uh, variants if you be careful uh, it's not uh don't speed until here thinking that it's 110 if you speed all the way till here this is 110 miles an hour it's not kilometer but miles an hour you'll be approaching 180 kilometers an hour if you if you uh, speed until the meter points here careful it's miles per hour on the outside and then the rest of them are quite standard lah, except the meter has a miles an hour on the outside similarly the meter ends at 220 ki kilometers an hour same like local version so only thing is this is converted to mph miles per hour it's the kind of seat i seen on this car okay you have got mirror controls down here the door panel is not painted in silver except for the steering wheel painted in silver it's a manual edition and this player is a little bit different now although it looks the same but if you carefully scrutinize it okay there is a af and ta is alternate frequency this is for travel announcement in Britain, the radio must have a uh, travel announcement feature. That means if you are playing any uh, radio station or anything, if there's a travel announcement broadcasted by the authorities, it will override your uh, all the broadcast that you receive. Then you your, your radio will automatically switch to the traffic announcement and then you hear maybe there's some road closures or blockages or jams or things like that. Another thing to note down here is uh it is not like uh, our air condition this uh, the blue part is actually air condition the red part is actually heater that means if you if you turn this accidentally to this side it's actually heater it's not aircon air, air condition is to turn it all the way to this side 
So this is the difference for the British British versions of MyV. Then the back, if you look at it, uh, if you look at it, you will notice that there's only one reverse lamp. This is the reverse lamp. This one here is a rear fork lamp. So there's a rear fork lamp for this car itself. And then yeah, British plates actually the the rear is actually in uh, yellow. The front have the front plates are white, the rears are yellow. This car, these cars are very rare in Britain right now. So I I'm not sure whether it's low sales or maybe uh, no maybe uh, it's not very sellable or something. I I don't really know. So very very hard to find uh, these cars in Britain. So I comb the internet. I only found these few uh, photographs of the UK spec, uh, the British spec uh, Parodra might be like this. Even these cars, uh, even as of uh, 2013, uh, these cars are still available with this, with this look of the front. So this is uh, uh, British versions of uh, Parodra might be. Okay, and with that, we really have come to the end of this video review on the first generation of Parodwa MyV in Cars from the Pages of History, Episode 04A, Parodwa MyV First Generation. So, to my next video, thank you for watching. Bye bye.